What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2020 uh, Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football. Three box pick your team break number two just sold out. So, again, we're going to give away the Bengals slash Joe Burrow. Um, nothing crazy out of the first three boxes, so I got another three boxes from the case. Um, and, again, uh, no veteran base card ship, but everything else will. Um, and, again, before the break starts, randomize the customer names. Give away the Bengals. So, we got the names here, number two. Uh, we copied them. And again, uh, Ron got lost about Mojo. And then we're going to go by group break checklist. So let me pull that up right now just so you guys can have it in the chat as well. Uh, so whatever group break checklist has the NFL team affiliated with um, the players, what we're going to go by. So there you go. What's up? Do you know anything about these gold rush hit packs that are live on the site? Um... Let's see. They said a bunch of there, like $19.99 a piece. Oh, he must have put this up. Um, maybe see if Mike can find them. They must be somewhere back there. Okay. All right, sorry about that, guys. There's a checklist, and this is the checklist we're gonna go by, guys. All right. go paste it up now and again um roll it eleven times good luck number one gets the bangles one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, and eleven. Kevin, and numero uno after eleven times, you are gonna get the Bengals. Let's just put you in here. Boom. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on with the printer, but I'll fix that a little bit later. We'll just go with no list for now. Um, you guys just have the list here. Sorry about that. So Kevin Cardinals all the way down to Sean with the Redskins. Toner cartridge, God damn. Just let me print this already. There it is. That was weird. I was like, I know I set everything up earlier. Extra sheet for nothing, but it's all right. Not asking for much, y'all. Just asking for a little Chase Young Crack Dice would be nice. That's right. It certainly would be nice. Certainly would. Alright, I think we're good to go here, guys. Andy, how's it going, man?
All right, and then um, I drew a line over these boxes so that you guys know we're in the same case. And again, just a three box contender draft pick break. All right, man. Yeah, I um, I could uh let Nick know. Um, that way uh he knows what's going on. But yes, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna take care of you. <clears throat> First one we got is Salvan Hamed. And let me go get some top loaders for this as well. Again, only only the inserts in that will ship. Give me a second, guys. Alright, and let's look this up really quick too, guys, to see who this is going to go to. Uh, You're not going to open this select box, are you? No, you can take it. Oh, yeah. Is that the one you need for the mixture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't go put it up another one of those. Yeah. And that's 49ers for Salvan as well. Yesterday with everything, I don't know if it was mixed in somewhere. All right, so 49ers for this one. So just tag it. So it goes up to the right place. Now let's go to the next box. Yeah, that baseball mixture is getting close to Annie. I'm going to update what we need to sell out um, after these breaks that I got to do and then we'll see then we got Darrington Evans uh, that's Tennessee Titans Yeah, that's the Appalachian State receiver, I believe. And then we're going to go left or right for the inserts that go to uh, to two different college teams. Our same college team, but of course it could be pro NFL teams, so I'm just going to go left or right. And if there is duplicates, we might just split them for you guys, just so that way both of you guys get one. But for the most part, it'll just be left or right for those. 
Isaiah Hodgins. That is uh, Beavers, it looks like. I think each mini box should have four packs, yeah. Oh, there are 12? Yeah, so each one needs to be four different drafts. Okay. Right. It should tell you on the box, though. Well, it's actually a hit draft, so you're going to have to... Yeah, just grab whichever one and then, um, you know, show the cards first. Uh, then you'll randomize the names. Yeah. Number one gets first pick down to four. If they're not available and they're not in the chat, um, you can pick for them based on value is usually what we do. So, it should be like that. Ooh. Kenneth Murray. Oh, wow, he's a sticker in this one. This was a stud. Let's go with Chargers. Trevor with that one. Josea, college ticket for Cincinnati. I'm sorry, guys. You know, we're Sean is his second day breaking with us and doing some hit pack drafts on jazbees.com, so just trying to help him out as much as I can. Josea. Packers. This guy right here. Green Bay Packers. That's wrong. This. this is a Chase Young. I feel like Chase Young is always a redemption. Ryan Finley, number to 99. Uh, that'll be going to uh, the Bengals. Potential Joe Burrow backup, although I'm sure he'll compete for the starting job, right? <laughs> but Kevin with the Bengals. That's not an autograph, but numbered card. And we got a little redemption here. Oh, is it Chase Young or Brown and Ayuk? All right, let's just go. Bam! It's Cam Akers. RPS college ticket, which I believe Cam was drafted by the Rams, right? Yeah, Rams. So he must have been the on card in this one. All right, so Ali Rams. Uh, that's Barry Roberts. Oh, does it really, Sean? That's a, that's a shocker. 
All right, sweet. Next box, guys. I kind of got to get into a little groove with these boxes because, you know, everything's all college still, so kind of have to make sure you tag them so that way the shipping team doesn't have to delay and look for these autographs and stuff so that way save them time. But, you know, once you get into a groove, you should be fine. Austin Mack, I, Ohio State. Michael Pittman got drafted to the Colts, Derek. Nice. He was a big, big receiver, big target in USC. Austin Mack is Giants. Yeah, kind of, well, I mean, obviously you have Phillip Rivers now, but good time for Andrew Luck to come back, right? I'd say Andrew Luck comes back in a year. I don't know, I just feel like it'd be so tough for him not to play football again. I just know he did it for the injuries, but I don't know. Unless he's like a Jake Locker and just says, screw it, I'm done, and never came back. I thought Jake Locker would come back, but maybe Andrew Luck is for reals. I mean, he's made enough money. Andrew Luck to go back on the Colts wouldn't be a bad idea. But, again, you guys got Phillip Rivers, future Hall of Famer, right? So, you just need a guy that can sling it. Darrington is going... Or Darrell, sorry. Packers. <laughs> That's not talking about I know, that was rough. No, it's true. I mean, he's a pretty smart guy. I mean, he graduated from Stanford with, like, I don't remember what degree it was, but he's he can definitely do other things. And I think that's... I don't even think football was his first priority at one point. But... Benjamin Victor. Ohio State. Yeah, architecture, right? Yeah, so, I mean... I could see him not returning, but I don't, I don't know, man. I just know that his body was just going through so much. And he said it, too. If he wasn't injured or he didn't have that injury in preseason last year, uh, he probably wouldn't have retired, but kind of was gearing up for it to be his last year, right? So, But no, nah, man, for real, though. I know if I was a Colts fan, I would have been devastated and kind of mad, but can't be mad at him. Just mad at the situation of, like, wish he was just never that injured. You know? It sucks. Very talented quarterback that kind of was just battled with injuries and was a tough guy, man, you know? He just sit and sat in the pocket and just took some heat. What up, Ray Rice? I know, man. Thank you. Yeah, we are here. Javon Kinlaw. It's all around us, but we are here. And uh, playing it by ear. I, I, I believe, guys, there is going to be a curfew tonight, but I don't think it's going to be early, like at 6 or 4, as it was yesterday. Javon King Law. Uh, I think it might be around 8. So that's why I did start like around 12. So in case we do have a curfew and we have to be out of here by 8, 49ers for King Law. Um, you know, we still do like about 8 hours. But I might stay till maybe 9, depending on how it goes. But we're going to play it by here too. If it's just Los Angeles wide, Los Angeles, the city, um, and not just county wide, then we should be able to stay here till 10. So we'll keep you guys posted. But. Just like yesterday, it was just kind of just out of nowhere. You know, it was like 5.30, and then they sent an, an Amber Alert saying, you know, countywide curfew, 6 o'clock, and it's like, dude, it's like 30, 30 minutes before. Like, how are we supposed to prep for this? So, yesterday was kind of, we were kind of thrown off, but <clears throat> I think today as a work day week, like Monday, um, probably less people out there, at least during the day, not until nighttime. Joshua Kelly. Uh, Victor was, I think, um, Giants, I believe. Yeah, Benjamin Victor was Giants. So that's going to go to uh, Trevor. That'll go to you, man. <clears throat> and Joshua Kelly is Chargers. 
That's another one for you, buddy. <coughs> Joe Burrow. Last pack of the second box. I know, Trevor. I'll try to get you a man. I, I haven't seen much Herbert either, to be honest. But he's one of the bigger quarterbacks, so he's going to be kind of tough to hit. J.K. Dobbins is your on-card college ticket. And he'd probably be on, on, an on-card, I believe, so there's only one on-card per box. J.K. Dobbins. Where'd that go? Ravens, right? Uh, Ravens, Sean. There you go, man. Ravens just stacking up, man. Stacking up that offense. Alright, last box, everybody. And again, I'm sure we can get numbers three and four done today as well. So. Yeah, well, there was a lot of quarterbacks in the first round, right? What was it, four quarterbacks? So that takes it up, wide receivers. So the thing is that there's only one on-card autograph per box. Oh. Oh, it's worth three minutes. It's just going to be the answer. Oh! There you go, Trevor. Back-to-back -back Oregon Ducks. This is going to go to the Denver Broncos, though. Royce Freeman. Rolls Royce Freeman. And then we got ourselves a big quarterback. How about that? Cracked ice. I'm hoping for a cracked ice. I want it, though, but I'm sure you're going to keep it. <laughs> I actually picked up a color blast not too long ago, so that's coming to me soon. And Joseph Herbert, that's going to be a color, color, color. No, it's just a regular college ticket, but what a beautiful autograph. Man, he autographs like Mariota. And it's, he's very consistent. Look at that. Beautiful. There you go. Just a base, but something, right? All right, so Chargers. There you go. Very nice. Alright. Another burrow. Put Jason on the top of as well. No space. That's okay, Derek. That's okay. You know, Mariota was kind of in an unfortunate situation. Um, you know, because he kind of had an offensive coordinator and coach his, like, first three years different every single year. And um, it's kind of tough. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I think Mariota is going to definitely strive in that John Gruden offense, and I honestly think he's going to take over for Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr is going to get booted out of there soon. And hopefully – Revives his uh, his young career still because he is only still like 26 or 27. But I don't know. I have high hopes for for Justin Herbert. I don't expect him to dominate now, but he's just such a talented quarterback. Very mobile. So he's like six 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 five. Uh, has a cannon of an arm. Definitely just needs to learn the playbook. Honestly, and he's a smart kid. I think he's going to do well. But um, Mariota, on the other hand, another guy that I think that just kind of had an unfortunate situation. You go look at his stats, man. He's, he was great. He was great in Tennessee. Was he the best? No. You know, but he, was, he wasn't bad at all. It's just it's unfortunate how his situation planned out. Kendrick Rogers.
he still has like the best red zone percentage. He like only thrown one interception his whole career, something like that. Kendrick, you know it's funny. I kind of seen a, I kind of seen a tweet of uh, Kendrick. That's a cowboy right there. Kind of seen a tweet of some Tennessee players. Um, how they were saying that. <laughs> That uh, during scout team practice for the defense, how Mariota was just burning them all the time, and they were just like, "This guy obviously, you know, is, is a is a good teammate, even though he's not going to be he's not the starter at the time. He's he's still gonna still gonna help out the team as much as possible. Just roasted the Tennessee Titans defense. That's what they were saying. Like at one point, some people were also thinking like, "Damn, you know, do a little better than Tannehill." But I think Tann I think the system that Tannehill got into right there with the tight just fit him much more better um but yeah that's something he still has to learn Derek but you know he just it's just unfortunate like I said it's kind of hard to 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 be a good quarterback when you have you know three four different offensive coordinators and coaches in your first five years you know it's it, it does it's kind of tough Chargers for Joe Reed but I think with Gruden's offense in Oakland, he's just gonna, he's just gonna strive there because it, it, he just he just so fits that Raiders offense that they're trying to run, you know, where he can be himself, honestly. And I know Gruden loved, um, loved Mariota coming out of the draft. <clears throat> I almost wanted the Eagles to draft Mariota too. <laughs> Although, I think with Chip Kelly, I don't know how that would have turned out, but I really wanted the Eagles to trade up for number two and get them that year. But I'm okay with them waiting and trading up to get Wentz the next year. But I remember I was just so like, please, Mario, to come to the Eagles. Shea Patterson? Patterson's Chiefs. But yeah, Derek Carr definitely on the hot seat. And I'm not, I mean, I'm a big Oregon Ducks guy and I'm a root for Mario to take over, but I'm not wishing the Derek Carr like bad where I'm, if, he, if he does well, I hope he does well. But it's just, uh, I think when training camp starts and everything, I just I just know Mario is just going to tear it up and Gruden's going to have to make a tough decision eventually. All right, two more packs, guys. Bryce Hopkins, or Bryson, sorry. So this year for sure, gonna be rooting for the Raiders with Mariota once he plays, and whenever, uh, whenever uh, Herbert starts as well for the Chargers. Rams there with Bryson. Alright, last pack, guys. Jaspies as a whole, Jason. We do not like Purdue. Agreed? Alright. We don't like Purdue then. Don't know why, but we don't like Purdue. All right, last pack, guys. Omar Bayless. We hit him yesterday as well. Is that Zachary Wallace? <laughs> All right, and there you go, guys. Um, we we hit one of the bigger rookie quarterbacks. Uh, that doesn't mean that we can't hit more in the next three box break. We have six more boxes left in the case, and uh, again, we hit a Herbert. Uh, we got a redemption of uh, 
Then Cam Akers as well. Uh, some good stuff here. A lot of different teams, of course, hitting. A lot of charges, though, as they did have a lot of draft picks hits in this one. But again, the next one, number three and four on the website, I think they're both down to single digits where I'm sure we'll get those going. Um, so let me do a little randomizer for the left or right. <clears throat> so we can distribute some of those out. So let's get that. Put dice roller. Left. Right. Roll it. Four and four, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Goes to the right side. So any team on the right side will get the extra hits, guys. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.